been nearly four months since the United Kingdom celebrated Freedom Day, which brought the end of enforced mask mandates and social distancing rules. There comes a point after so many have been vaccinated when further restrictions no longer prevent hospitalizations and deaths, but simply delay the inevitable. And so we have to ask ourselves the question, if not now, when? Now cases are on the rise again. The UK has averaged close to 40,000 new cases per day over the past week. With winter fast approaching, experts believe the country is reaching a tipping point. We have uh, 9,000 hospitalisations um, and rising. Um, we have many deaths and rising. Throughout the pandemic, including now, people want more restrictions um, than the government are offering. The body that speaks for healthcare workers in the UK, the NHS Confederation, wants the government to implement Plan B. Under the plan, masks would be mandated in some settings, people would be encouraged to work from home, vaccine certificates would be required, and they'd ramp up public messaging to be cautious. But the Johnson government is so far resisting. We're looking closely at the data, and we won't be implementing our plan B of contingency measures at this point. But we'll be staying vigilant, preparing for all eventualities, while strengthening our vital defences that can help us fight back against this virus. The UK is paying a heavy price for abandoning restrictions and allowing large events. We've got a kind of natural experiment in Europe with Britain going in one direction uh, with very obvious results. The move has resulted in six times more Brits being admitted to hospital and three times as many deaths from COVID than in comparable Western European nations, such as Italy and Spain. So there are lessons that can and should be learned. With Australia's international borders now open and Victoria and New South Wales rapidly emerging from lockdown, the UK may serve as a warning not to abandon public health measures like checking in, social distancing and masks indoors too soon. I think it's really important that any country that's thinking of easing restrictions looks around the world and looks to see what seems to be making a difference and, and what isn't.